Jack Stuss Homestuck is a self-indulgent podcast featuring a heart player encouraging you to be self-indulgent too. Welcome home. Hi, and welcome back to Jack Stuss Homestuck. Uh, you might notice that this episode is a little bit late because I'm currently recording it at 12.47 a.m. on Friday morning when these typically go out on Wednesdays. Um, and this is going to be even weirder because this is my Jade Pester Quest route, uh, ex like review or or whatever I feel like calling it. Um, and you might notice that this is taking place after Car Cat and Kanaya came out, so you're still getting those. Uh, but right now you're getting Jade because I'm behind and I was behind in scheduling, and so the person I had scheduled to interview this week I didn't get in touch with until too late. Because that's how life works sometimes. And sometimes it's really just like that. Yeah. Also, this is weird because Dami's here. Yeah, I am. <laughs> it's wild. Yeah. Uh, Dami has kind of technically been on the podcast before in the fact that her music is on the podcast and that the Doom Timelines uh, preview episode was on here. So that was that was her voice being Dirk. Eh, it's it's a technicality at best. <laughs> this is but, this is real. This is tangible. Yeah, this is this is us actually talking instead of recording lines and shoving them together. Yeah, this is this is actually Jackson Dami does Homestuck. <laughs> yeah, new podcast name. I'm rebranding. Oh boy. <laughs> I I'm uh, involved now. Uh, I mean. I, I'm involved in yours, so... I guess that's fair. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot I want to talk about in this episode that doesn't specifically have to do with Jade, and it is because that this episode is by now two days late when I try to have it up early because my patrons pay money to listen to these early, and I have not been doing a good job of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These past two weeks, like, sorry, patrons who came these past two weeks. I'm usually better, but. Um, it's, it's like that sometimes. Stuff happens. Some of you know some stuff that's happened, and some of you only know part of stuff that's happened. And that's just how life works. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, so um, I do have a plan coming up i don't have a plan solidified right now but for those of you who don't follow my twitter or haven't seen it pop up because it's twitter a lot of shit happens um but next month so november i am going to be taking a break from twitter and probably tumblr as well and just kind of social media in general except for discord um though i think i'm going to be muting a lot of my servers and not really in interacting in a lot of those uh, just some more like personal friend ones. So, um, and also like the podcast isn't going to be on hiatus for a whole month. It's just going to be fewer episodes so I can kind of get back to where I want to be and have a plan for everything and uh, kind of hit off year two with a bang because year two, um, my, my one year anniversary is in uh, December. Mm -hmm. so um so i'm gonna try to get that going and i'm sorry dummy i'm just talking so much no it's so. fine I don't, I don't mind <laughs> very exciting stuff uh yeah exciting is certainly a word for it anyway we're getting way off topic which we is are. already off topic because the topic should be jade but right now it's going to be me rambling about stuff and this is why i made my intro and outro so i would stop myself from rambling but i feel there's a lot you guys need to know and that is Yes, I'm aware this is late. Yes, I'm aware this is is not good. I am now three episodes behind. Well, once I finish this one, I will be two episodes behind. Um, and I need to get back on track, especially since Abby is doing such a good work and still providing me with artwork that I am not using. Sorry, Abby. Um, hey, two episodes behind is better than three episodes behind. Yes. <laughs> it's getting better. Yeah, and see me rambling is padding out this link. So instead of like a 15 to 30 minute bonus episode, it's going to be a 15 to 30 minute bonus episode plus about 30 minutes of me rambling at the start. Look, you know we can ramble about Jade for a while. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else important I need to say because I didn't fucking take notes for this. God forbid. 
Um, running through my mental list of all the things you've been talking to me about, I think those are all of the important things. Yeah. Um, oh, and Dami is going to be running my uh, podcast Twitter while I'm gone. Yes. Um, so that should work out. If if anything comes up with, with Dami, I forgot to tell you, Dami, so you're finding out live with everyone else. Oh. <laughs> um, but like, if something comes up and you're not able to, I have someone else who's volunteered to help out as well. Okay, excellent. Um, so yeah, so you'll have a backup. And um, he is quite insistent on me taking a break from Twitter for a while. And mm -hmm. I, I want to I wanna say, like, it's scary when someone says they're taking a hiatus from social media. That sounds like something big and bad's happening. But, like, this is my first year since 2010 where I have not worked in retail for NaNoWriMo. Mm-hmm. Um, so that means my schedule isn't going to be all crazy and I'm not cramming for stuff because I, I don't work in retail. I have an office job now. Oh yeah. Um, so I, I, ha I don't, I'm not going to be doing that whole novel thing in a month. Um, I'm just going to use it as an excuse to work on some of my other projects that I've been neglecting in favor of this podcast, which is podcast is still really important, but I'm also going to use this as a way to get everything back on track, how I want it to go. Uh, which I've said already, but I'm saying it again, uh, just so you know that this is not like a scary thing. <laughs> like, yeah. I just, I'm, you know, I'm Nano Nano is great, and like sometimes you just need a social media break. Like it, it wouldn't be the first time that I have taken a break from Twitter just for the sake of mental health. Sometimes it really do just be like that. Twitter sucks. Twitter <laughs> is an advertising <laughs> machine. Do you know how taxing it is on your brain to be advertised to 24-7? Uh, I use TweetDeck, so that's not my problem. Look. <laughs> Look. I know you think that TweetDeck is so superior. It's just a more efficient advertising machine. I'm just advertising my friend's commissions. That's it. <laughs> and, um... Anyway, so so yeah, so in my my um many many years of being on the internet, I've never taken a break from social media sites. So this is a first, and we'll see how that goes. Um, I, I I wish you luck. I genuinely think it'll go good for you. I think it will be horrible, and I'll have no idea what to do with myself. Mm, it be like that. Especially since, like I like I mentioned on Twitter, I'm going to a McElroy, uh, I almost called it a concert. They're not singing, probably. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes they do randomly decide to sing. Um, but that's not, like, the draw. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to a McElroy show. Uh, uh, my brother, my brother and me is coming up to Minneapolis, and I was able to score a ticket from someone who's not able to go, unfortunately. I mean, unfortunately for them, fortunately for me. Mm -hmm. Um. And that's going to be going on in November, and I won't be able to tweet at you guys about it. And I hate that. That does suck. It does suck. Um, you know what you can do, though? You can message me and all your friends on Discord about it. It's true. And you guys can be my friend on Discord, too. Uh, there's a link in uh, Jaxus HS, uh, my Twitter profile, for the... Um, for the podcast discord i talk about a lot of other stuff besides the podcast on there i have a memes channel that i just spam people with whenever i think my friends are getting tired of me spamming them with memes <laughs> i try to like <laughs> spread it out a bit so who knows i might not see any memes for the next month oh that's a terrifying thought god that's horrifying i'm gonna start crafting my own fucking memes from scratch god <laughs> what kind of life must that be uh okay i'm about to go phantom of the opera on you that's immediately what i thought too um but anyway because i i figure it would be cheating if i didn't include tumblr in my social media ban um mm -hmm. even though tumblr is a lot less taxing on me because that's just a lot of memes um and the only other social media i use is instagram and to say i use instagram is very generous yeah um, so, yeah. 
because you can't post anything on desktop. So I have to have the mobile app open. In the mobile app, you can only sign into one account. So I'm signed into my podcast account because for some reason, Homestucks are on Instagram. Uh, so I post my my episodes on there. Um, and so I don't log into my personal. And so there's nothing. Yeah, it's, that's fair. Yeah. So this is um, old not a man yells at Sky about not understanding modern social media no i'm 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 with you i <laughs> hate i do not like instagram that much at all yeah and it's not and it's not instagram's fault i just I think don't it like is. it i think it's instagram's fault we can we can let totally able, blame it on instagram let you're let right post, let me post on desktop please um but it, this is far beyond any sort of point um except take breaks for yourself take social media breaks Mute people you want to mute, mute terms you want to mute, block people you want to block. Just fucking do it. It doesn't matter. For sure. Mental. Uh, God, I can talk. Social media does not care about your mental health, and it will never care about your mental health. So you need to be sure you're taking care of it if you're going to partake in social media. For sure. Especially is... Twitter. Sorry. <laughs> I mean... It depends on what circles you're in, but Twitter does drag me into a lot, even though I thought I, um, I don't know, I had such a good thing going on on Tumblr and I've got to redo it all over on Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, like, cause this goes, even if you don't have any personal mental health problems like me, I have depression and anxiety and maybe ADHD. So <laughs> social media breaks has been a long time coming for me. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, but yeah, I have some exciting stuff coming up that I want to work on, as I've said, about a dozen times. Um, this is what happened when I, it happens when I stopped writing scripts like I did for my gay stuck episodes. Is I will just talk at you forever, especially since Dami's here. And this is me basically talking to Dami. Oh, yeah. And that's always fun. It is always fun. Everybody make friends with Dami and go to, um, what is it, TDT Casts? Yes, at TDT Cast. Yeah um for the um the podfic podcast that i need to submit my lines for yes you do tisk tisk shame shame <laughs> i am on top of everything these past two weeks have been shit hey it's it's like that i get it i'm not it's mad like that I, if you if, want if if we get to if we get to like you know uh midnight on tuesday and you know you still haven't submitted your lines then i might be the tiniest bit upset but i'll get it i it's trust okay. you not to do that yeah um if you guys want to support me to where i don't have this many issues doing this please donate hundreds of dollars to my patreon every month so i can quit my job <laughs> you know i would love to quit my job <laughs> I, I i like my job generally but i would much mm -hmm. rather just be working on my creative stuff all the time that's fair that's fair yeah um we should anyway. probably talk about Jade now. Listen, you're right. <laughs> so Jade PesterQuest. Um, it's been a little over two weeks since I played it. Um, I just remember. Okay, so here's the deal. PesterQuest comes out at Wednesdays, 10 a.m. Central Time, which is funny because that's when I've been having my podcast out for the past... Mm, Several months. I used to have it at 12 p.m., but I switched to 10 a.m. Technically, now they come out at 9 a.m., but it takes an hour to get on iTunes. Anyway. Um, so I will always remember the exact time PesterQuest and any PesterQuest news comes out because it's the same time my podcast is supposed to come out. And I'm like, you're stealing my limelight, uh, mm -hmm. official Homestuck content. <laughs> I I lucked out and I, I didn't do it intentionally, but it just so happened that the way I scheduled Doom timelines was such that it comes out on the Pester Quest off weeks, which is very good. Yeah. Speaking of when my podcast comes out, I can't believe I forgot to mention this. Actually, I can because I am a scatterbrained mess. Um, I have a listener survey. Please, 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 please take this listener survey. I don't care if this is the first episode you've listened to. I don't care if you you only listen to every third episode or if you've listened to this podcast 
since back in January of 2018 when it was something almost entirely different. Please take my listener survey. I am gathering all these results. I think I said I was going to be closing it early November. I'm probably going to extend that some more since I'm going to be taking a break. So I'll have more time to actually look at stuff. Um, Please take that listener survey. It is linked in my discord. It is linked on my Twitter. Um, And uh, if you, if you can't find it, DM me and I will link it to you because it's very important. I get as much information as possible. So I know what the best days are to release these episodes, what you guys like about my stuff, what you guys don't like, what you guys would like to change, where you guys came from, just the whole nine yards. Um, I I worked a lot on this survey, and it means a lot to me. Could and, help me out. and all of those metrics are not only very useful for the podcaster, but also very interesting to someone like me who just likes looking at conglomerations of data. For sure. Like this isn't like the, the PGen podcast survey, which was more of a general homestuck survey with slightly more questions focused on the PGen podcast. This is just about me. <laughs> um, so be aware going into that, that that's, that's what it's about. So don't be like, Oh yeah, it's another homestuck. It's just about me, but it also has an interest, interesting metrics. So like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't know. I don't want Dami to get you hyped up and thinking that it's something that's not. I know. Oh fucking, no 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 no! I'm I sorry. That was not my point at all. <laughs> I know. No. <laughs> I, I I I'm not not Becca. I <laughs> am not doing this quite yet. Um, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna be and I'm gonna be releasing all that information too. Um, whenever it hits my one year in early December. Mm-hmm. So um, so yeah. Uh, please, please, please go do that. If you have to pod, 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 pause the podcast right now and go do that, do it. I also have a link in the description. Unfortunately, it sucks if you're on Spotify because Spotify S- hates links. Spotify hates links. Um, I would say go to jackssayshomestuck.com, but I don't think I have it up on there yet. Gosh, dang it. I need to put it on there. I know I have, I have another form on there. Anyway, so point is, I'm at work at 10 a.m. on Wednesdays, every Wednesday. So I get to suffer. And um, this week, I uninstalled Twitter from my phone and muted almost every single server I was in to avoid spoilers because I was not able to do that for Jade's root. And it made me very upset. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I... I am surprised I managed to avoid as many spoilers as I avoided for Jade's route. Yeah, uh, no, it's tough because Dami works until 11. Oh yeah, 11 p.m. Yeah, yeah. So that is over 12 hours of that episode being out. Um, so it's uh, rough for us. It is. It is very rough. But I make it, and I... Checked out Jade's route and oh boy, did I love it. Okay, so here's what happened is I, beyond the spoilers I saw, which I tried to push out of my mind, I I had a friend message me and saying, you're really going to love this. And then I start playing it. It's very sad, y'all. This was a sad route for like 90% of it. It's a sad route and I like that it's a sad route. Yeah, it's just like, I spent this whole time going like, okay, my friend said I was really going to like it. It was really great. It was going to be really happy. And I'm like, but where? Mm -hmm. It's sad jade hours. I love sad jade hours. We need so many more of them. I know, because Jade expressing her emotions for once in fucking Homestuck is so Good. good. Jade deserves to feel things. Yeah, like, unlike in in Homestuck proper, when the first time we see Jade feeling things is when it's Jade Sprite, who's sad, and Jade yells at her. And I'm like, yeah, oh, okay, (laughs) that's how this is. is, Which is super telling about a lot about Jade. And I love that. Me too, even though it's very sad. But we got... Angry Jade writes too, but she just fucking lost it. Oh yeah, for sure. And let me tell you what, 
we got we got a tiny bit of angry jade in this too and i was living for that yes i i love me some fucking angry jades yes see what people don't get is jade is so good at being angry and not to go topic but this is why jade Vris can win Oh, Jade Vris can absolutely fucking win, and it has always had the opportunity to win. People are just cowards! Listen, Vriska will pull emotions out of Jade that Jade doesn't have, and Jade will go absolutely ballistic on Vriska's bullshit. Mm -hmm. It works! And then they'll kiss. And then they'll kiss. <laughs> I mean, you, you, Vriska is very attracted to people. Who can call her out on her bullshit? You remember those little hearts when Kanaya punched her? Yeah. Yeah. Listen. Listen. Vriska just likes people who can overpower her in some way. And Jade absolutely can. Yeah. Jade's a fucking powerhouse. Like, dog powers are no. Oh, yeah. Um. I, I loved the... There was a particular scene in this route where uh, they they used the sprites really well when Jade was throwing something, and she just went through this visceral set of emotions as she threw this thing on her bed. And I felt that. Yeah. It's so good. Um, also, speaking of dogs, that I said a couple seconds ago, uh, Beck is good. He's a good boy, and you fucking punch him? <laughs> you have to punch a dog? Pester Quest? Pester Quest really out here making you punch dogs and then oh. die for your mistakes. Yeah, I mean, that's what you get if you punch a dog. It's like, have you ever played or watched someone play Until Dawn? I have not. Okay, well, basically the whole thing in Until Dawn is that it's a time um, reaction. Is that cute? QTR? That's what it is, right? Mm -hmm. I think yes. so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the whole thing. Is It's mostly a story, but you do some QTR, and that's how it is. But, like, the game makes sure to tell you at several points in time, like, sometimes not doing things is what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So, come across this dog, and you see this little hand symbol. And you're like, oh, that's telling me to do something. I should do the hand symbol. And you're like, maybe I am petting this dog to try to get it to calm down. No, you fucking punch the dog. Oh! That is a quick time reaction you are supposed to not do. Nice! Yeah, it was quite heartbreaking because you punched the dog. And that's what uh, Pastor Quest made me relive, except this time I got to die for my sins. Mm -hmm. uh, I forget, was that the ending where we saw Solix in a radio? It, it was. I No! No. You get blasted into space Wait. twice. <laughs> like... You do get blasted into space <laughs> twice. What happens the first time you get blasted into space? One time you just fucking suffocate and die. I think that's the Beck one. Yeah. Um. And then what's the other one? I don't. I'm trying to think of the bad ends because this one was weird because you and Wait, up having... no, 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 no. There's two different endings where Beck teleports you into space. It's Beck yeah. both times. The first time is where Jade goes to shoot you and Beck's like, ah, oh, hell no, and then teleports you into space and you suffocate and die. Then the second time you punch Beck, Beck fucks you up and then teleports you <laughs> to the green sun. <laughs> yeah, that's where Radiant Solos are like... Hey, what's up? Well, Aradia's like, hey, what's up? And Solix is like, who the fuck are you? And Aradia's like, eh, some fuck up. Yeah, he's gonna have to do the, or I always say he, I'm so bad at this. It's like, <laughs> uh, but uh, they're gonna have to redo this again. I'm like, okay, Aradia. I love her. I, I know, I know we're supposed to be having jade loving, jade loving times right now, but I, I love Aradia. Everybody is so good. I can't wait because uh, James James Roach is writing a radio, so I am. Oh, that's totally right. To that. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. I know because his Dave route was so good. James Roach really be over there hogging all these time players. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. I never fucking think about classes. Are you a hard player? No, I don't. Remember. Mm -hmm. Um, 
But uh, yeah, which is unfortunately Solix being in there is what got spoiled for me because uh, someone was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I remember. The S character. And I'm like, there are only so many S names in Homestuck. <laughs> <laughs> if you had said the J character now, there we go. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a, <laughs> there's like five of those. That's fucking everyone. Um. Which I feel, because that's how it is for me as, as a Jax in our group with uh, Jax, James, Jondi, and um, uh, is that it? I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. But still, it's a constant mood with me. A lot of James. See, Jax, it's only three people. That's only half the server. <laughs> you're, you're just complaining. Shut up. Uh, but we are all heart players except for one. Oh, that's right. I I always forget about that, and it makes me so fucking happy. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Someone was like, hard players never talk to each other. Like, bitch, I only... Oh, yeah, no. I, I exclusively talk to heart players. Yeah. They're like, my favorite player. People. It's... Yes. Anyway, we're so off topic, but that's cool, because I need to fucking pad this, because I'm three episodes behind. <laughs> like that. Yeah, I mean, you guys, listen, if you guys by now don't like me rambling, you are listening to the wrong podcast. Look, Jax, sometimes you just ramble and that's the podcast and that's the pull of the podcast and that's fine. I like rambly shit. That's good. That's what I try to tell people whenever uh, they come on Fan Stuck or, um, or, or like a review episode or something. And they're like, oh my God, I, I don't know. I'm kind of nervous to get on there. I'm like, dude, we just talk and like talk about what the fuck ever. Like there's a point underneath it all, but we just fucking talk. Yeah. Um, and that's good. Just yeah. talking is good. It's chill. It's all chill. Um, but yeah. So Jade um, is, is very, very, very fucking good. Um, she shot me and I deserved it. Yeah. She shot me, I deserved it. Bet killed me, I deserved it. Um, Jack Noir? Mm? Yeah, that was a thing. Vaguely so terrified of that. Yeah, because like for... Uh, someone's told me that I'm focusing on the wrong stuff, but for me the leathery wings description is kind of throwing me off. Um, but like who else would it be? Yeah, okay, so my thing, and I don't remember everything about how Jack Noir was described, I forgot that it was leathery wings, I thought it was feathery wings, but I could be wrong. I, yeah, um, I'm pretty sure it was leathery wings. In, in the, that case, it was probably the Trolls Jack Noir, or, which would be weird because Trolls Jack Noir didn't get the ring. But the, the troll ring would have Pyrospite prototyped in it. That's true. Fucking ultimate Jack Noir gets both rings. God, no. <laughs> stop stop yourself now and stop it before I get spurb D and D ideas. Oh yeah, that's a risk. Um See, that's that's the risk of coming up with overpowered enemies in Paradox Space, is that then I get to use them against you someday. One day. Uh, right now, we have a more benev benevolent ruler mm -hmm. um, who just gives us fluffy moth people. Yes. God, that's um, such a fun, a fun <laughs> RP. Yeah, that was... Again, this is our friend group where we have, like, all but one are heart players, so we had to, like, choose something else. And so we all choose something besides heart, and then one snuck back later and got heart. And yeah, like, each and every fucking... one of us each and every one of us was like, oh no, I'll do something else. You can be heart. And then no one was heart. And then someone decided actually I'll Yeah. So that's how it fucking be. <laughs> but uh anyway, so the whole prospect thing was really interesting because uh, I think I might have mentioned Dave Root, but um one of the things I was kind of thinking would happen with Jade is that we would get her talking to the trolls and that's what would be like, who the fuck is bugging Jade and go off and uh, yeah. get them. But a uh, preview for me talking about Karkat and Kanaya, but it's Prospit that links everyone together. So that was really neat. Yeah, which is interesting to say the least. Like 
how is because the the trolls and the kids prospect are different. Mm -hmm. Um, which leads me to wonder. Oh God, I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm about to go off in an entirely different direction. It's so like the podcast. Yeah, I know. So also preview of Kanaya and uh, Carcat's routes. The way readers' powers were described was really interesting to me because like readers' narrative powers function differently because it's a character-based narrative. They the powers work based on characters. Which is interesting because reader can go to locations that aren't necessarily tied to characters, but then when reader's just randomly popping around, reader's visiting locations that they previously have visited with characters that they have close ties to. Uh, but, like, the fact that reader was like, okay, let's go to Prospit and meet new friends, and then shows up on the troll Prospit where there are new friends is really interesting. Uh, Karkat's just that strong of a blood player. Yeah. Reader was like, I want to meet new friends. Let's go to Prospit. And then wound up on the Prospit with a blood player. Yeah, Karkat's fucking big boner for making new friends while pretending he's not because he's a uh, friend, Sundre. Sund I can never fucking say that word. Sundere. Sundere. I'm a bad weeb. <laughs> I, uh, I only, like, read shit. I don't say it out loud in real life conversations. That's That makes you a good weeb. <laughs> uh yeah i should anyway. be embarrassed about the fact that i know how to pronounce sundere yeah well uh Karkat's a, a friend sundere um so yeah so he just felt they just felt that uh pool of friendship fate um which so is yeah. very good i love friendship fate it's the best kind of fate absolutely and um, speaking of friendship fate, so I generally try to have the bad endings the first time because ending on a bad ending sucks. Like, this is where I'm leaving my stream is on the shit ending. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, it's it's past request, and, uh, and I'm not looking for spoilers, so sometimes what seems to be the obvious bad route is not that um mm -hmm. but i made an exception there was a third choice for um because usually there's two there's a beginning bad end and a mid to late choice bad end and this and this one also had a really late choice bad end yeah um, so and it was really obvious what the bad end was because jade had decided that she was going to just deal with it. Uh, she'd figure it yeah. all out. Everything would be fine. It's just how the game works. She's just doing what she should as um, as her character type, I guess, of, mm -hmm. of what she's destined to do, even though that destiny is no longer there because you threw it in the sewer. Um, and... <laughs> And yeah, uh, and you have the choice to either go and be like, uh, no, don't just resign yourself to being on this island alone forever, or to be like, yeah, that checks out. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so obviously the yeah, that checks out was the bad end, but I could not make myself click on it the first time through because it was too fucking sad. It's a very sad ending. Yeah, because then the narrative is like, oh, you're a fucking asshole? You're a fucking asshole, huh, asshole? Oh, yeah. It, <laughs> the game deliberately <laughs> makes sure to tell you that you are awful for choosing yes. that route. And I'm like, you're making me. There's secret things behind this. Like, okay, so I have to go back and play a uh, uh, friend sim with uh, Tarona's route because... I never chose Tizius as the one to go snitch on. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, which I meant to go back and do, but I couldn't f to my girl. Yeah, that's fair. You, <laughs> like, honestly, everybody who got the good end on that route is fucking awful. Though, I will tell you this, and this is, like, the least spoilery way of talking about it possible. It's... It's not so bad. 
No, I, I, I know basically what happens. Like, Good. it's been a while. Like, I didn't hide myself from spoilers. It's been fucking months. Fair um, enough. I figured you probably knew, but... Yeah, I don't know, like, super, super details, but, I mean, it, it's... At this point, it's my fault. Like, I get mad about spoilers when the game has been out for an hour and I get added with spoilers. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Which happened with the first route. Um, but, um, but anyway, yeah. so, you, uh, you may betray your girl like that, but reader would never. Yeah. So, so anyway, I have to go back and betray, um, Tizius with Tarona and it's sad, but I know it's going to be fine, but it still hurts. And that's what happened with Jade's fruit where I'm like, I don't want to do this. So I did the good end first and I went back. Because the bad end, not only does the narrative call you an asshole, um, also the end card, which calls it a bad end, gets scribbled out with Jade's handwriting over it, saying um, the good happy end or, or some bullshit, where she's like, this is how it's supposed to be. It's all fine. When it's obviously not fine. Yeah, um, for sure. So that hurt a lot. I that was the worst part about that ending was Jade's like scribbled handwriting. Yeah, like all the other endings were chill because like you deserve it, you know. Like you punch back, you get torn to shreds. That's just life. Yeah. Um, like don't fucking hit dogs. Is is there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, and uh, this one was just painful in ways I that mean, other one could are. argue that one could argue you deserved it in this one too yeah I think that's the point of this route actually yeah, is that well, you very much deserved it but it's different like whenever i deserve what i got with beck it i was the only one punished i got torn to shreds and beck went back to like you know snuggle up to jade and jade was none the wiser about anything D didn't get to know that you were an asshole that punched her dog yeah um meanwhile with this one you make the asshole choice to let jade this precious 13 year old girl go on with a very shitty outlook on life yeah that's fair actually so it hurts more not because i'm being hurt but because i am hurting jade yeah that checks out so that's why that hurts um, which I have to say, okay, so confession time, which I think I've talked about previously on this podcast, but, um, in, in case like I haven't, or, um, it's, it's been a while. So the first time I read Homestuck, I honestly didn't connect to Jade that much. And like through reading Homestuck, I kept trying to like, hurry up, let's get back to the other characters, um, through mm -hmm. Jade's stuff because I'm a dick and I don't deserve Jade. Um, but uh, thankfully, I've read it like a thousand more times since then. And I've, I've read Homestuck three more times, two more times, just starting this podcast. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not talking about the other times I've reread Homestuck. But so I've come to appreciate Jade uh, more and more. And this route definitely lets me have it. Yeah, Jade. for sure. You, she's great. If, if you didn't appreciate, like, okay. On the off chance that someone who is listening to this has not yet played that Pester Quest route. Like, if you have problems appreciating Jade, go play this route. You will love Jade a thousand times more because this route gives you the much needed context for understanding a lot of Jade's actions that a lot of the time, like up till now, we've just kind of had to like infer and understand and like figure out. But yeah. this just lays it out for you and says, this is what Jade is, this is how she thinks, and this is why she does everything she does. Um, honestly, it makes me want Jade and Dirk to have a conversation. Yeah, that'd actually be really fucking cool. Because, I mean, they have kind of, they go about it differently, but they have similar of... Uh, this narrative importance thrust upon themselves and, and that they kind of take on by themselves. But I mean, Jade had it more thrust upon herself because she just happened to wake up in Prospect and get all these dreams and just no mm -hmm. shit. Well, Dirk is Dirk. Um, hey, 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 Jax. Yeah. I hate to interrupt. 
For sure. I've just had the most cursed idea. Oh no. Ultimate Jade. Ultimate Jade. Ultimate Jade. I feel like Ultimate Jade would go to go about as well as Ultimate Carcat. Yeah, and both would be awful. Yeah, but it'd be really funny. Now, now, let me take this another step further. Yeah. Ultimate Jade and Ultimate Dirk have a conversation. Man. Listen, okay, so I hate <laughs> all the people who are like, I can't wait for K- Kanaya to go up and saw Dirk in half. Um, or like, I can't wait for MSPAR to go Dirk and punch him in the fucking face. I oh, hate yeah. That's At not what's time, gonna happen. No. Um, because we're going back to, like, pre esper people. I don't know what that's gonna mean for the Alpha Kids, considering. Mm-hmm. But, uh, we'll find out. Um, but... Ultimate Jade would absolutely deck Dirk. Oh, like, yeah. For like, sure. She's just gonna be too full of her own emotions to do anything else. Oh, yeah. Ultimate Jade would reach through the narration, deck Dirk in the face, and then run away laughing. Yes. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what would happen. <laughs> We've cracked the code. We're done. We can move on now. Yeah. And again, I, I'm i not a fan of the whole, like, ugh, you know, let's fucking commit violence against one character because of the epilogues, which we all, like, which a lot of people say, I don't care about the epilogues, but I can't wait to kill Dirk. Okay. Um, yeah. That's an entirely separate episode. Oh, yeah, for sure. But, but Ultimate Jade, Jade would punch Dirk, but I still want Jade and Dirk to have a conversation. Dude, so, like, God, another tangent. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. But, no. the, like, one of the things that I, uh, one of the things about Homestuck that I, uh, I kind of like is that it's always inventing, like, new and ridiculous power levels to climb to, you know? yeah. So, like, I, I, now that we've reached Alt Self, where you literally have control of the narrative, I can't wait for everyone to ascend to their Alt Self and they just sit around a table narrating a passive aggressively at each other. And then see, I can't wait for someone to figure out the next step and see what that's going to look like. Personally, I think the next step would be going the fat, uh, going the fuck down back below old self that's the ultimate ultimate self is to not be the fucking old self because that's exhausting yeah you right like i can't imagine having all of my different timelines together i mean it's a bit different for me because you know i'm just fucking just chilling here on a planet and not going yeah. to god tier and shit but god could you imagine all your, like, different possible you I, shoved into your head. Could you imagine, like, your fucking high school self? I'm sorry if you're still in high school, but I'm a decade beyond that. You're gonna hate yourself in a decade. <laughs> That's just how it goes. If you, don't, if you don't hate a lot about yourself from a decade ago, um... Good you for you, I guess. Well, good for you. Like, maybe it's like a... I don't want to make generalized statements because maybe it's a, oh yeah, I'm reclaiming who I used to be and I, da, 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 so whatever. But for me, I had a lot of growing up to do because I was shitty high schooler. Like most high schoolers are shitty. <laughs> so I just can't imagine having my high school stuck in my head. Oh yeah, for sure. God. Um, this is a lot of why I relate to Dirk. Could you imagine if you turned your 13-year-old self into glasses that you had on your face forever? <laughs> God. I don't know how I'd handle that. Yeah. Um, anyway, so, but the good end for Jay. Oh, yeah, the good end. Is so good. It's so good. It's what I've been waiting for this whole time, going through sad, 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 sad dog. Um, and, like, looking for 
the the light on the other end that my friend said I would absolutely love and would be so great and amazing. And it happened. We get all the kids to have a sleepover. I love it. It's so good. And then we still get Strider man pain because once the Strider is introduced, we cannot get away from his man pain. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, if a Strider is in the scenario, there's gonna be man pain involved. That's it's... just a fucking given. I just love Strider so much. I, I love that John is the only person in the group who knows how to give a fucking hug. Yeah, because, you know, Jade has a fucking stuffed corpse. Uh, Rose has an alcoholic absentee mother. Dave has <laughs> bro. Yeah, let me tell you what. Rose's fucking hug was the most hilarious thing ever. That was so good. Like, I'm gonna be all smooth. Let me get up on you, girl. I don't fucking know how arms work. <laughs> <laughs> Though I will say, Jade's tackle pounce hug was a valiant attempt, and dare I say, prospect dreamers are the only ones who know how to hug. Yeah, I mean, it also helps that Jade has a dog. Jax, aren't you a Durst dreamer? Oh, I'm Durst, absolutely. Yeah, so let it, understand you, let it kids. be on the fact that I am the only person currently speaking on this podcast who knows how to give a fucking hug. There's like... Only two of us. That's not an achievement. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't fucking know how to hug. I don't hug people. I haven't had, aside from my mom, which I don't count, I haven't had a hug since a long time. Um, Jax? Here, here's a hint, folks. If you move six hours away from your only uh, IRL support network, you um, move six hours away from your only IRL support network. Jax. And, yeah. When, yeah. When, when I visit Minneapolis, you're going to get a hug. Yeah. We'll you're going to get like 50 of them. Yeah, we'll see. I'll fucking flash step out of that shit. No, you won't. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> Not when there's a nice prospect hug coming for you. I know. And you're taller than me, so it's going to be good. Um, anyway, enough of this Moirel bullshit. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're talking about Jade, aren't we? Yeah, I know. I keep going off to talk about my boy and everything else. But that's... Jade's they had a that, sleepover! Right? They had a sleepover. Um, first off, I, I do want to mention the Strider man pain a bit. Because um, he almost fucking murders Rose. Um, because you just a purify in his room with uh, Rose and John in tow. And oh, he yeah. fucking tosses a ninja star at Rose. And oh, yeah. Almost hits her in the face. Oh, yeah. That was good. And Rose is like, uh-huh. Excuse me? This is um, not right. And like pulls MSPR aside to be like, so this is fucked up. You know what's fucked up? What what vibes did you get when you were here before? Because it's fucked up, right? I don't think yeah. I'm going to bring it up though, but it's solidly fucked up. And John's like, Haha, you're such a fucking loser, Dave. <laughs> I love how clueless John is. It's so good. See, John is dumbass boy rights. John is dumbass boy rights. I wish we could get a proper dumbass girl like John. I know. The the most we get is we have uh, Connell. Connell's good. I like Connell. But, like, if I have to dig through friend sim to find a good... Fucking lacking. Right? Right? Like, Homestuck has so many fucking characters. You'd think we'd get at least one. Listen, I like... Might be evil characters, but they they have their in the right place, maybe. So you know, you're Vriska and you're Dirk, mm -hmm. and I like dumbasses. Oh yeah, <laughs> like those are two very good extremes, and there's no in between. Yeah, well, and then there's... And there's like this side with like the man pain. I love oh, my oh, yeah. man pain. 
Strider Man Pain is very good. Um, it's very yeah. good. So, um, yeah. Strider Man Pain is an addictive drug, and Holmes and Watt Pumpkin is just slowly feeding it to us. I know it's so fucking good. I can't wait to talk about Car Cat in the next episode. Um, but yeah, I would also throw Rose in with my Vriska and my Dirk because Rose has her own morals, and I love it. Rose is very good. I I would love one day to see someone write a fic where Rose is the villain. Yes. Because that would be some good fucking shit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Rose noticed shit is going on with, uh, uh, in the Strider household. Mm-hmm. And um, it's very good. Uh, cause, cause, cause Rose just gets on that shit, and sure. um, and yeah, then they have their awkward, awkward hugs and not hugs and attempts at hugs, and Dave just being flustered, like we're holding hands. Jay's kissing me on the cheek. God, Dave is such a by disaster, and I kin him. He's so good. Um, Dave, uh, shout out! I, I keep forgetting to like remember to have a list of these but uh shout out to the person who did dave sprites because i cannot get over flustered dave oh flustered dave is so fucking good yeah um but yeah and so then there's a, a sleepover and the so good so good we get dave's fursona we do. We get uh, Rose and John bonding with, with John getting his nails painted. I love John getting his nails painted so much. It's so good because Homestuck is fuck toxic masculinity. Fucking paint your nails. And um, I am down for that life. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. So, because we see it, I mean, we see the fuck toxic masculinity with, with Dave's route. Um, but John gets to be kind of oblivious about the whole thing on purpose for the entirety of Homestuck. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, he gets his nails painted this time. What I didn't like about this route, and by didn't like, I mean love, but I'm very wary of the constant hints that this all comes at a price. Yeah, I don't like that one bit. I mean, I love it, but no. Yeah. No, thank you. Uh, yeah, because every time, like, things would start to be going too well, MSPAR would start to think, but surely there's a cost for this. And I'm like, there doesn't have to be what, Pumpkin? I've seen plenty of fan fictions, and I know it can be free. Um, but it's what, Pumpkin, and it's Homestuck, and it's uh tangentially canon so and that's fine homestuck can do whatever it wants and say whatever it wants about the cost of narrative relevance etc etc i get it that's been homestuck's shit shtick for a long time and i like that yeah but because well, now it's not the cost of narrative relevance now it's the cost of being happy yeah um because yeah. these kids are only relevant until their route is done. Yeah. Um, and, and we also got a lot more about how not playing s is fucking things over. Like, Jade no longer goes to Prospect in her dreams. When she's able to physically go to Prospect, the queen doesn't want to fucking see her and people are scared. Yeah. Uh, Which vaguely terrifies me. Like, I'm... I... I don't let on to this often enough, but I am super into the cosmology of, like, Spurb and Homestuck and its metaphysics and everything, and I want to fucking know what's going on, like, in that area. Yeah. Like, why the fuck is the queen refusing to talk to the witch's space? Why the fuck is everyone on Prospect afraid suddenly? Yeah, because they know something's gone wrong. And, um... And yeah, and this is what Jade has her whole breakdown over, is she spent so much of her very short life, but, you know, still a significant portion of it, 
preparing for something that never happened. Mm -hmm. Um, it never will happen. And yeah. And, and moreover, this was the moment in her life that like it had all been leading up to Jade was alone, but this was supposed to bring, bring her not only something to do, but like a chance to meet all of her friends, which by the way, this route, uh, brings new pain to three years alone on a ship jade oh yeah it really fucking does yeah um because yeah sure we got to see jade go uh three years on a ship with john and dave sprite but can and jade went three fucking years alone on a ship with consorts and nana sprite yeah um and and dave sprite no, Dave Sprite dies when John dies. Ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah. I yeah. forgot about that. No, she didn't even get feathery asshole makeout. That's even worse. Yeah. Um, if you don't get feathery asshole makeouts, what's even the point? So, so yeah, so Jade gets a couple of days being around people, sort of, maybe, kind of, after an alternate Dave. Um... And then for three years, she's alone again. Jesus. It kind of recontextualizes epilogue, Jade, huh? I mean, I'm sure it does. I still haven't read oh, the epilogue. Oh, that's epilogues. fucking right. I forget who I'm talking to. Nah, I'm sorry. It's, it'd be like that. I need to. I need to get on it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I don't blame anyone for not reading the epilogues. Please read the tags and take them into consideration before mm -hmm. reading the epilogue. Um, yeah, I do. I do fully intend to read the epilogues. I just haven't yet. Yeah, um, I, I mean to reread them, but it takes something out of me. But I'm writing a epilogue fix it fic. By fix it fic, I mean I insert myself to Dirk, which is the only type of fic I write anymore. And hey, I, I like people inserting themselves to argue with Dirk. I wish more people would do it. Listen, Aisha did for the problematic zine, so I have fucking rights, okay? You do have rights. <laughs> I never said you didn't. Um, but yeah, so Jade's route was really, really good. I really love the end that we could sleep over with all the kids. Um, and then MSPR just fucking leaves and is like, I'm sure you guys will how to get home i'm probably not even thinking about that because i have a friendship boner on mm -hmm. um, luckily bex there to fix everything yeah see like, that's that's not the route i thought they were gonna go i thought jade was just gonna rig up teleporters to let them get off the island which of course sure. would work for them but not for her no um but yeah but we'll we'll get we'll get more into how um Beck did shit. Uh whenever I get to Karkat and Kanaya's route, which hey, but we'll fucking see. Because I still have to record lines for um excuse me, for other shit. And yeah. It'd, it'd be like that. I need yeah, to yeah. do a lot, actually. Oh, same. I am also listen, guys, <laughs> I have so many fucking projects going on. I'm also in uh uh, the Green Door, the uh, Fan Troll Friend That's Sim. That's right. Um, and I actually have to do stuff for that now. Oh, and I got to record lines for um, Let's Read Friend Sim, which is the second Friend Sim dub I'm in. Mm -hmm. I need um, to do that too. Yeah. So, you know, we got shit going on. But I'll try to get it up Saturday. I'll try to get it up this weekend at least. See how it is. I also, like I said, had personal stuff going on I haven't properly dealt with. So, um, there's, that's life. There's always stuff going on. I mean, look, I the know. one the one lesson that Homestuck wants you to come away with is, is that things never stop from keep happening. Yeah, okay, but there's that. But then these past two weeks, it's been fucking when it rains, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's like, fair. Like, I've been like, oh, I'll try to, like, get home early for stuff. And actually, you have a lot more work than you've had for the three months. And mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I'll do this. And I was like, oh, well, this happened. And 
it's been everything. Um, yeah. But I'm I've rambled enough about my personal problems. I'm sure hey. you'd love to hear about them. Mm -hmm. It's like that sometimes. Yeah. You can tell me how much you'd love to hear, hear about my personal problems and me rambling forever about anything on the listener survey, which you need to fucking take. It's linked below. Again, if you're on <laughs> Spotify, sorry about you. Go to my Twitter, which is uh, JaxDoesHS. So abrasive to the fans that you need to take your survey. I need them to take my survey, please. <laughs> please take my survey. I want to know. See, because the thing is, is it's to help you. Help me help you. Help me help you. Help me help you. Now you're thinking like a marketer. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we've been fucking going on about this for over an hour. Oh boy, that's a long episode. It's a long episode. Um, I, didn't, I didn't mean to do that, but it sure happened. Listen, a lot of it was me rambling about shit and Dirk for some reason. Hey, it's, it's like that. Sometimes you just always got to come back around to the boy you can. I know. I need to make another Dirk episode just to get this shit off my chest. Because the last, oh, sorry, I'm going to talk about Dirk a little bit more. The no, last Dirk episode I had, which was uh, from my Gay Stuck series, when I was going through the specific characters and talking more about their gay routes, like uh, arc specifically, uh, fucking no one wanted to listen to Dirk. Like out of all the character routes I did or character specific episodes I did, he was the least listened to, which is so funny. I oh, yeah. still wasn't as into Dirk then as I am now. For those of you who don't know, I did not get this into Dirk until two weeks before the epilogues. So this is the life I live. Mm -hmm. This is my pain. I, I can only imagine, like, like, I have always been a Jane stan, but I can only imagine the pain of, like, getting into Jane, like, two weeks before the epilogues dropped, and then that happened. Yeah, so um, this is going to be epilogue spoilers, but y'all know this by now if you haven't read it. So I read Candy first, and my uh, my partner read Meat first. So I, a newly obsessed Dirk fan, read Dirk killing himself graphically on paper while my my partner who had not read candy because he started out with meat was telling me how much of an asshole dirk was <laughs> so, poor yes. child. <laughs> it was a fucking experience let me tell you i um, believe that that sounds awful it was that's that's how it be with homestuck um but seriously i got a bunch of questions on there i i limited it down wanted i saved y'all i had you, 70 you you did so much cutting down i remember how many times i had to reread this survey <laughs> <laughs> i started out with like 78 questions and i think i got it cut down to like 50 and then you wanted to cut it down more but you just couldn't i couldn't i couldn't find a fucking thing to cut i added two more questions while i was trying to cut down <laughs> So anyway, please, I put a lot harder work into this. And um, I, I really want this to be, a, I, I want this to be a good place for people. Um, I, listen, this fandom, any fandom, uh, I came from the Dragon Age fandom, it's any fandom, can be a really tough place to be in. Um, just humanity likes to, pick its sides and be hostile for no reason. And sometimes you just want a place to chill out. And I want to be a place where you can just go to chill out. And I can't really do that if you don't tell me what will help you chill out. So go do my listener survey, please. Um, yeah. I, I also advocate for you taking the listener survey just so that, like, all of my obsessive rereading of it doesn't go to waste. Yeah. Yeah. 
please don't do that to Dami or the other friends I made. Mostly Dami. Dami was the one who got back to me about it. Yeah, I had to reread this thing a lot. It's, um, what you get when you're a Morial. It is. It's a lot of pain to suffer through, but I will, I will, I will bear that cross. Okay, well, I'm gonna fucking end this episode now. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> so, uh, I will see you guys back whenever I release my next episode. Maybe this weekend? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, patrons. I'll, I'll be like that. I'll try to get you some bonus content next month while I, I take my break. Um, but yeah, thank oh, you guys wait, for listening. Wait, hold Come on, on. hold on. What? I have to pl- I have to plug. I have to plug my shit. Oh, yeah, that's right, Dami. I usually plug their stuff at the end, but I've just this has been such a conversation between us. I f- Yeah, Dami, go ahead. Say your yeah. your your username and and plug your stuff. For sure. So, if you want to go follow me on my Twitter where I uh re- retweet a lot of shit and uh maybe once in a while to take uh you can find me at Domino Thief. Um, if you would like to follow my podcast Twitter, which would probably be a much more worthy use of your time, you can follow <laughs> it at TDTCast. Uh, I do... I don't really do it. I get. I, I take up fanfic that I like, and I, I, I make people voice act it for me. I don't make them. They volunteer. You can volunteer <laughs> if you want, but that's a whole other story. Go to the Twitter. It's all there. Yeah. And um, while we're we're plugging other podcasts, um, I listen. I'm sorry, I have not listened to all the other Homestuck podcasts. I know some new ones just popped up, but I know Crow and uh, Bana's podcast, Esplurb. Go check out Esplurb. Um, they're having some technical issues right now, but they should be having episodes every week. Um, I, I think their ad is just S blurb. Crow's not on here, so Crow doesn't get a good plug. Just S blurb. Find it. <laughs> it's on Spotify, I think. Um, it's on. It's on a number of places, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't think they ever got it up on iTunes. Ah, damn. I don't know. Maybe they have by now. Um, it takes a bit for iTunes to process your shit. Yeah, iTunes is fucky like that. Yeah, but iTunes also gets you on to um, all the podcast apps, pretty much, like uh, CastBox and Overcast and all that stuff, which mm-hmm. is where I'm at. Um, I'm also now on Pandora, and I think I'm following special rules when I talk about Pandora. Uh, hashtag Pandora Podcasts. Um, I don't know if anyone still uses Pandora, but it's an option now. Please rate me wherever you find me, but that's in my outro as well, which I guess I'm putting on here because I also have to shout out to my patrons, and that's in my outro. Mm-hmm. Um, now I think we can end it. Yeah, all right. Bye, everyone. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you guys someday. Bye! <laughs> this podcast's theme is Dirty Dirt Kenny and was created by Domi, who could be found on SoundCloud as Domino Thief. The art for the podcast was done by Abby, who you can find on Twitter at Space Arby's. Unless it wasn't. Shout out to my patrons, Kansas Just Got Gayer and Jacob King. To become a patron and get episodes up to five days early, along with other benefits, go to patreon.com slash socially anxious dragon and sign up for as little as $1 a month. You can find links to that and more in the episode's description, on the podcast's Twitter, JaxDoesHS, or on JaxDoesHomestuck.com. Please remember to rate this podcast on iTunes and share with your friends. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to be a little selfish. <laughs>